Good evening, I am Belinda Obura. Welcome to your favorite weekend news magazine, Sunday Live, the home of incisive, detailed and balanced coverage of all the latest happenings in the world of politics, sports, entertainment, business and so much more. If it's happening, you will see and hear from it first on Sunday Live. Well, the past week has been a busy one on the anti-corruption front with revelations of a mega scandal now known as the Symmetry Land Scandal. But the Kenya Anti-Corruption Commission has also been under the spotlight following a leaked interim report which has seen the anti-graft agency accused of playing politics with a war on corruption. Well, that's not all that we have in store for you tonight. With our rich heritage of setting the pace and injecting the latest trends in television journalism, we are responding to your demands and what you'd like to see. And how are we doing that? With a brand new look in our own ultra modern news and current affairs studio where my colleague Julie Gishiru is standing by after a much well-deserved break and all set to kick it off with a brand new look of Sunday Live. Julie, welcome back and tell us how is your baby doing? Oh, thank you so much, Belinda. Really happy to be back. Baby is doing very well. Thank you. Thank you. A baby boy. A baby boy yes. indeed. Huh? Yes. And I'm just looking at your studio and it looks absolutely wonderful. Very exciting, new developments and we'll be showing you the full studio in just a moment. But Belinda, also on Citizen News this whole week, it's going to be about new faces and a new look as well, right? I'm telling you, Julie, it's not just about Sunday Live. We're going to be introducing three new anchors this coming week. And you can catch up with the first one tomorrow at 1 p.m. And that's on Citizen at 1. Don't forget to join us also at 4 p.m. on Citizen Alasiri. All those with a brand new look. Citizen Nipashe will be showing off what it has for you this coming week. And of course, I'll be kicking off Citizen Live at 9 tomorrow night with one of our new anchors. And of course, a whole all new weekend for you Friday and Saturday citizen weekend for you and Julie you're all set to kick off the brand new look of Sunday Live. absolutely and I have to say Belinda thank you so much for you're doing welcome. an excellent job I loved watching you over the thank past you so months. much my dear wish you the best of luck let's kick off our new Asante look. Sana now so much more to see over the coming week so keep it citizen but right now welcome to the new look Sunday Live. So once again, this past week, we had to contend with the ugly reality of extrajudicial killings. Seven taxi operators were executed, but what really happened in Karangare, Kawangware, excuse me, in the wee hours of Thursday morning? On a brighter note, though, the constitution-making process enters a crucial stage this week when Parliament begins debate on the draft constitution. And Kenyans are hoping that the politicians will put their political differences aside and endorse the draft so that it can be put to the vote in a referendum. We're keeping an eye on that story for you. Tell us what you think on this and on other stories on the show tonight. Share your views, SMS 2442. You can also log on to our website, www.citizen and uh, citizen tv.co.ke. Let's take a look at what we have in store for you right now. The tears and the despair, why justice for Kawangware victims may be a long way coming. The politics of corruption, Raila Odinga is on the receiving end. Also the big Tuesday debate, a constitution in the making. Still on Sunday Live, farmers count their blessings and the hard lessons as well. Plus, navigating tricky waters, sex education and your children. How much should you tell them? And our sports special tonight, the captivating story of Paralympic record holder, Henry Wanyoike's guide. We have all this and much more for you. Indeed, you are watching Sunday Live. I am. Julie Gishu.